Hi, my name is Taya and I'm here to teach you all about art history. In today's video, we are going to discuss one of the most recognisable works in Western art history. The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh depicts the artist's view from his room at the Asylum in St. Remy de Provence, just before sunrise. The work has been housed at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City since 1941. Stick around to learn the story behind The Starry Night. The Starry Night is an oil on canvas painting painted in a post-impressionist style characterised by vivid colours, thick paint application, real-life subject matter, distinct brush strokes and geometric forms. You can see the brush strokes create a sense of movement throughout the sky, maybe mimicking clouds or wind in the air. In the sky you see a large moon surrounded by various sizes of stars. In the background there are mountains with an imagined village added at the base. In the foreground is a large cypress tree that is a common subject in the artist's work. I have a lecture on the life and death of Vincent van Gogh, which I'll add in the cards and description, but let me give you a brief overview of the post-impressionist master. Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist artist who, after his tragic death, became one of the most famous and influential figures of Western art history. In just a decade, van Gogh created 2,100 artworks that included landscapes, still lifes, portraits, and self-portraits. His works are characterised by bold, expressive brushstrokes that heavily contributed to the development of modern art throughout the 20th century. Despite his posthumous success, the artist struggled severely throughout his life with depression and poverty, which led to his suicide at the age of 37. Learn more about the artist in my lecture on his life. Vincent van Gogh admitted himself into the St. Paul de Moselle Lunatic Asylum in May of 1889, after his famed self-mutilation incident where he cut off a piece of his left ear as a result of a breakdown. The asylum was housed in a former monastery and they catered to the wealthy. Due to only being half full, the artist was able to occupy both a second story bedroom and a ground floor room he could use as a painting studio. Van Gogh stayed at the asylum for around a year and it is said to be the period in which he created his best works, specifically The Starry Night, Iris's and his blue self-portrait. We suspect that Van Gogh painted this image from memory and has been identified as the view from his bedroom window, which appeared in 21 of his artworks. The artist wrote to his brother Theo in May 1889, Through the iron barred window, I can see an enclosed square of wheat, above which, in the morning, I can watch the sun rise in all its glory. This view has been depicted many times and under various weather conditions by the artist, including moonrise, sunshine, overcast, sunrise, windy days, and even one depicting rain. The Starry Night, however, is the only nocturne in the series, and in June he wrote to Theo, This morning I saw the countryside from my window a long time before sunrise with nothing but the morning star, which looked very big. It is hypothesised that the morning star Van Gogh was referring to was actually Venus, which would have been visible at the time. So the biggest star in the painting is actually Venus. Here are a few facts about the work. He left out the iron bars that were on all of the windows at the asylum. The village was imagined, well, somewhat. St. Remy is a real village, but Van Gogh would not have been able to see it from his window. It suggested he either used charcoal sketches of the town or that it was maybe inspired by his hometown. There is a theory that the work is about morality. Cypress trees, as seen in the foreground, are often associated with cemeteries and death. This gives significance to the Van Gogh quote, Looking at the stars always makes me dream. Why, I ask myself, shouldn't the shining dots of the sky be as accessible as the black dots on the maps of France? Just as we take the train to get to Tarascon or Rouen, we take death to reach a star. This is not the first painting of the starry night. A year before, Van Gogh created Starry Night over the Rhone after he became obsessed with capturing the lights of the night sky. You can also see similar depictions in Café Terrace on the Place de Forum. Van Gogh considered the work to be a failure. He wrote to Theo, All in all, the only things I consider a little good in it are the wheat field, the mountain, and the orchard, the olive trees with the blue hills and the portrait and the entrance to the quarry, and the rest says nothing to me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this.